started filming these let's go self-care shopping videos a couple years ago and recently I've seen so many people do these videos too so I thought for this one I'd do something different and instead of going to my usual Target I would try self-care shopping for high-end products I just never felt the need to spend $90 on a skincare product when I could get something for like $8 that works great but recently I've been trying the drunk elephant skincare collection and I actually love their products they're just so expensive so it's made me curious like could it be worth it to spend that much much money on a product versus my regular skincare. So I'm at Ulta today and I'm gonna shop for hair care, skincare, and body products that are more expensive. I have my purse. These are the products I was talking about. Like this moisturizer is amazing, but look how expensive it is. A lot of these that I've tried are so good. I've never seen these before. They're like bronzing drops. This one looks cool. It's a cleanser, but it has like this little wand, which could be nice to apply with. And I think it removes makeup, which would be perfect for me. I've seen these everywhere, but I had no idea they were so expensive. Like what? This is like a massage facial brush. I had no idea it was that expensive. That's crazy. I've heard this brand sunscreen specifically is so good. I really want to get like a sunscreen stick that's mattifying, but maybe I'll check out this sunscreen. been trying to take care of my hair better. I don't know, I want it to be healthier and the ends like dry so fast. So I've tried high-end skincare, but I've never tried high-end hair care. I'm excited, I really wanna work on my hair better. Like this brand I see everywhere, the Olaplex products. So I think trying these would be good to start. I wanna try like this, their bonding oil. I've seen this one is really good and that's exactly what I need. Like shiny, strengthens, and I have very frizzy hair, so that would be perfect actually. I've also heard this brand is really good, Redken. I've always wanted to try their shampoo and conditioner, so I think I'm gonna get one. This is the brand I've really been wanting to try. I've seen their shampoos and their clarifying shampoos are amazing. Like this is a scalp and body scrub, which I feel like would feel so good. I have a dry scalp, so I have to use like very hydrating shampoos, but to have like a scalp scrub, I feel like would be so nice. I don't know, I'm kind of considering that. That could be really nice to try. I don't know, there's so many options. I think I'm just gonna try it. It looks nice, it's perfect for my hair type, so we're gonna go with this scalp and body scrub. I got my hair done yesterday and this is the brand she recommended that I use. So I think I'm gonna get a shampoo conditioner from here. So these are hydrating shampoos, which is perfect. So I think I'll get this one. This one's $23 and I'll be able to try it. And then if I really like it, I'll get the $38 one. And then I think I'm just gonna get the matching conditioner, which I think is this. Yes, which is this one. This one's the matching one. This is the one I was looking for. It's a clarifying shampoo. So you use it like once a month. So here is what I have in my basket so far. Shampoo and conditioner, clarifying shampoo, scalp scrub, and a hair oil. Okay, I have to do voiceover for this part because people were getting their hair blow dried at Ulta today and it was so loud. So this Kenra blow dry spray is $42, but they do have a mini one for 26. It's really good and it smells amazing. And I justified this purchase because I blow dry my hair every day. So I added it to my cart and look how expensive everything is. Oh my God, but the packaging's so cute. Okay, that's it, thank you. Okay, I am pulling myself out of the hair care section. I do want to look at the heat tools, like getting a new straightener, but we'll come back to that. I used to be obsessed with this brand in like 2019. I got all of their products, like the toner, the rose water. I think I just loved their packaging and like the colors of their products. I don't know, I guess I stopped using it after that year, but they used to have a little collection, it was so cute. So this company, Elemis, had sent me a package. They sent me like a bunch of products a couple months ago and I loved them. I had no idea how expensive this stuff is. Like, they sent me this product, these facial pads, and then and this oil, but I had no idea how expensive these are. Like, look how much this is. 
That's crazy. So for skincare, I've been wanting to try this brand. I've tried like a couple of their products before, but specifically this hyaluronic acid, I think is what I wanna try. I'm just gonna get it, honestly. It's $8.90, which I feel like is gonna be the cheapest product I get today. We're just gonna go for it. This one though too sounds good. It's for uneven skin tone and pores. I might as well just try it. This is what I'm leaving with and I'm super excited. I got hair care covered and I started getting some skincare stuff. Actually, while I'm here, I need to grab one of these. This is my favorite brow product. I'm gonna get a new one. I've been meaning to get that for a while, so that's perfect. Okay, so I did really wanna look at the straighteners while I'm here. I straighten my hair more than I wanna admit. I feel like a better straightener would be really worth it. I just looked up a bunch on TikTok to see which is the best, and they said this one was really good. It's definitely expensive, it's like 159. That's like a big straightener. Like I feel like that's perfect. People also said though that this one was really good. excited for everything I got. I ended up spending $221. I got like an entire new hair care routine and I got two skincare products. A ton of stuff, right? Great haul. But I don't know, like, although I got a lot of good stuff that I'm excited to try, I feel like I didn't get like fun products. You know what I mean? A lot of the products and brands I wanted to try, they don't carry here. I didn't really realize how much Ulta doesn't carry. I do like Ulta because they have cheap and expensive options, but I'm gonna go to Sephora now because there's still a lot of stuff I want to try, specifically the Glow Recipe brand that I've been seeing everywhere. So we're gonna head over there. I'm sad because I didn't find everything I wanted here but at least I got like a lot of really good stuff so far. I was like wandering around the skincare for so long I was like, why don't I see like any brands that I want to try? So this is the brand I've been wanting to try. It's called Glow Recipe and they have so many cute products. Like just the packaging. Honestly, their products are so much smaller than I thought they were. Like when I see them on social media, they look way bigger. Right, like that looks so small. Why is it like? The only thing is a lot of their products are watermelon scented and I hate watermelon. So I think I'm just gonna try them anyway and hopefully they're not too crazy. Not too bad. These two, like the guava or the strawberry drops, I've heard are really good. And also this lip balm. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna get because everything kind of looks good to me. They also have these mini sets, which I would love to try. Oh, I love Drunk Elephant. These are new too, I think. And these look really cool, like these bronzing drops. I've seen people mix their moisturizer with that and it looks really good. I think I'm gonna try these two. I'm very indecisive though, so I'll probably change my mind. But I think I just wanna try a couple things. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get this one. I've heard really good things about it. I'm gonna try this even though I don't like watermelon scents. They all look nice, I wanna try all of them. That'll be a lot to try. This is my favorite like scent brand right now. I tried this mini bum bum cream in this scent and I loved it like 10 out of 10. It was one of the only scents that like really lasted and like I could smell it on me. So I've heard a lot about their mist and this is the same scent, but also I've heard the pink one is like amazing. So I don't know which one to get. People like go back and forth between which one's better. To me, I don't think you can beat the orange one. Like it's so good. I think I'm gonna get one of these and I'm so excited because I can just spray it all over I think I'm gonna go with this one because how can you beat it like it's just perfect It smells so good. This one's good, too I don't think it's as good though, and I'm just gonna get the smaller size. Look how big this one is. Oh my god See shopping for this stuff is way more fun I love the Laneige lip products. I also love their moisturizers, but I think I'm gonna get another one of these little lip pots. Whoa, this is cool. Um, they have so many different flavors, but this one's always been my favorite, so I think I'm gonna get this. I think it's like their original. It's like berry, but it's really good. I could get the tube of it, which might be easier instead of like dipping my finger in, but I think I'm just gonna get this one though.
I forgot that Sephora carries Glossier now, so I'm so excited. I've never been to a Glossier store, so I've only seen their products online. Like, look at their skincare packaging. I've had these before, I think, and I remember them being good, but this, look at this packaging. Like, it is so cute. I think I wanna get that just because of the packaging, and I do need a new moisturizer. I've also tried this one and I remember liking it, but this, like, I just wanna try everything. And I've seen so many good things about this perfume, but I've never been able to smell it because I only see it online. So let's see if it's good. Ooh. I'm actually thinking about getting this. Like I thought about it before, but why would I buy a perfume online if I've never smelled it? Where this is a solid perfume. That smells really good. And it's a really cute little, I like that. I've also tried a few of these, but I've always wanted to try this. Just because look how cute it is. So I might get this. This brand is so expensive, but I've heard it's really good. Like this dewy skin cream. Okay, I'm done. I can't keep going. I got everything I wanted for this video. I think I'll go with this one. Yeah. Sephora was such a success. I am so glad we went in this video because I found so much stuff. So I ended up spending $213 at Sephora. Now we have a ton of stuff. I'm so excited. Like, look what I got from Sephora. Like stop, I'm so excited. I got to also get a birthday gift and it was so funny. She pulled out the options and it was like products from the hair brand that I just got stuff from or Glow Recipe, which is the skincare brand I just got stuff from. So I was like, I don't even know what to choose. This is so funny. What an expensive day. Just by the color, I feel like you can kind of tell when a coffee is gonna be gross. As if I didn't spend enough money today, I decided to stop at Starbucks and get an iced latte with oat milk and cold foam. It's actually not bad. And then I got the bacon and gouda sandwich too, which never disappoints. of everything I got during this video. I'm gonna start with Sephora because I feel like I got way more exciting things from there. Like, look at this bag. It's so exciting. I've really been wanting to try this brand Glow Recipe. Not only do their products look amazing, but they smell good. Like, look how cute even this box is with the watermelon. The first thing I got is the Watermelon Glow Dew Drops. It looks like a little potion. Oh, it's a pump. Okay, I love that. Mm, definitely smells like watermelon. I love the glass bottles specifically because you can reuse these and I feel like a big part of self-care products and shower products is the wastefulness. I do love that they use glass bottles and you can refill them with inserts. Next, I bought the Guava Dark Spot Serum. Look how cute this is. I'm just obsessed with their packaging. This one again is a pump and this one smells pretty good. And the last thing I got is the Plum Pump, is the Plum Plump, holy shit. And the last thing I got is the Plum Plump Moisturizer. Um, so let's see what this looks like. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, wait. I'm so excited to try this one too. Mm. Look at all these, it's my mini collection. I'm so excited to try these. I wasn't really expecting to walk away with three, but I was like, honestly, why not? I'm here to just try a bunch of stuff, so. Next, I remember they were carrying Glossier at Sephora now, which I love. I made a video a couple years ago trying Glossier's skin products, and this is one of the only ones I didn't try. I don't think it was out at the time. Look at this, oh my God, so cute see i love packaging it really sells me on things this is the glossier after balm it's a moisture barrier recovery cream look at that that looks beautiful next i had to get this body mist it is the sol de janeiro i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right i think i am and oh, look at it ah! um so i got the body mist so i can just spray wherever 
People argue between which of their senses is better. They say the pink one is the best, but you don't know what you're talking about. This one is amazing. I don't think it could get better than this. So next I just grabbed a Glossier lip balm. So I've had a bunch of these, but I love how they changed the applicator. It has a bigger lid now. And I this is the only one I've used so far because I was resisting before I showed you guys these. I love this applicator way more. It goes on so much easier and the big lid, like honestly, I was attracted to the packaging. These are two of my favorite colors but also i'm wearing it right now the tint is perfect lastly i got the laneige lip sleeping mask in berry this is my first big size oh look at the little wand so cute so this is what it looks like i wear it during the day and at night and now i have a little applicator too lastly since it was my birthday a couple days ago i got to get a birthday gift and i thought it was so funny because she pulled out the options for the gift and it was either a glow recipe or a hair brand that I'm about to show you or like another one and I was like oh my god this is so funny because both of these sets I just bought products for I couldn't decide which one to get so I decided on the glow recipe oh my gosh and it comes with these two mini products this one is the same as this but this is their toner and this was the other product I was trying to decide if I want to try so that is everything I got from Sephora this was $213 I think um, all these colors like so cute. I also went to Ulta. I basically got an entire new hair routine. So first I got this shampoo and conditioner for dry hair. So yeah, so I'll update you guys on how this goes. Next, this brand, We. I think this is the other birthday gift option, which is so funny. So I found the scalp and body scrub. That sounds so nice. Mm, look at it. Next, I got a Redken product. This is another hair brand I've seen so much about. This is a clarifying shampoo. Basically from what I've read, you use it every month or every two weeks and it like resets your hair. So if you use heat or a lot of hair products, then you should get a clarifying shampoo because it'll just reset your entire hair. I also decided to splurge as if this wasn't a splurge in itself but this product specifically it's the Kenra blow dry spray this was so this was like one of the most expensive things I got because it was like $30 for the mini size but it smells so good this is my first Olaplex product I'm trying it is the bonding oil I've actually heard a lot of mixed reviews on this brand but I'm excited to try it for myself look at it Oh, it's so cute. It's a heat protectant, it reduces frizz, and it's so cute. And then I found these two skin products by The Ordinary. One is hyaluronic acid, and one is an aloe smooth serum solution. I don't know. First is this one. It's like this clear bottle, and it has the drop applicator. This one looks really nice also. Yes, so it looks like this in this brown bottle and again it has the drop applicator. So I'm excited to try both of these. I'll keep you guys updated on all this stuff. And then lastly, since I was at Ulta, I needed to grab a new Anastasia brow powder. This is the one I've used since like middle school. I'm obsessed. I feel like it's just the easiest to apply. Oh, that's way better. Mine is like crumbled up and old. It looks so bad. So this is such an improvement. These are all the hair products I got from Ulta and these are the last couple products I got. So that is everything for this haul. I am so excited and I will definitely keep you guys updated on everything. I love all of this stuff so I'm kind of in heaven right now. So thank you so much for watching and staying until the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely check out my other social medias. I'm trying to be more active on Instagram and TikTok. I think I'll post a mini haul of all of this stuff on TikTok. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for supporting me and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Mwah!